Welcome back to Bon Appetit, Attempt, the only cooking show on the web, period. Today we're making a cake. It's for my friend's baby shower, and it's definitely gonna take all day, and we're just gonna try and embrace the uh, chaos of it all. It's called a vanilla celebration cake. So it's basically a vanilla cake, like a white cake with um, a white icing, but it's got some white chocolate in there and heavy cream. So I think it's gonna be pretty good. We're actually not gonna taste it because I'm dropping it off at my friends. Matt's upset. One and three quarters of sugar. One and a half cups soft butter. Three sticks with one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. So I'm preheating the oven to 325 degrees, and then we're gonna beat all of this together until it's pale and creamy. What is I'm gonna the try Jacques? the Jacques Pepin method, which is you crack all the eggs and then you just pull the yolks out. Quick shout out to Canada. Thank you guys. My book seems to be doing really well there, and I'd love to come visit. Super interested in Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver. I'd also go to um, Winnipeg. Okay, I'm gonna go get Teddy. You wanna add the eggs one at a time. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of flour because it's a little, it's looking a little lumpy. Can I more? Now we've gotta mix the dry ingredients. So that's three cups flour, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter cup cornstarch, and a half teaspoon salt. Then you're, we're gonna pour half of this into the batter, fold it in, then add the buttermilk, and then finish with the rest of the flour. Once it's all mixed, spoon it into your cake pan, put a little dip in the center of it so that hopefully the cake will rise without a dome, and that is a dip tip. This is gonna bake for about an hour and a half, so once it's in the oven, you probably wanna go ahead and take a break. Change their clothes. Moving on to phase two of the cake. As for the syrup, you just heat a quarter cup sugar with a half teaspoon of vanilla paste and three tablespoons water until it dissolves. Once the cake is cooled in the pan, you poke 25 holes right through it and spoon the syrup over it. Put one and a half cups heavy cream in a pan and heat it up until the edges are just starting to bubble. Then put the white chocolate into a small bowl and pour the hot cream over it and let it melt. In your mixing bowl, you wanna put three more sticks of butter, one teaspoon vanilla paste and a quarter teaspoon salt. Beat it until it's smooth. So we're gonna slowly add some confectioner sugar. We need five, it calls for five and a half cups but I always like to err on the side of less. Once all the sugar is in there, add the cooled white chocolate mixture. You wanna spread about one cup of the frosting between each layer, and then coat the entire thing in what they, they call a crumb coat. A crumb coat is just like cake making speak for the sloppy first attempt at icing the cake. Once you've got the, the sloppy layer on, put it in the fridge for 10 minutes and then you can pull it out and finish with the rest of the icing. So we don't know if the baby is a boy or a girl, but we do know that it's a baby. So I'm thinking a green border with something celebratory written on top. I don't know, something like yay. Matt and I are starting to feel weird that we're not gonna have a slice of this. 
but hopefully we can get our friend Dion to come over and tell us about how it tasted. People really enjoyed the cake and most of it got eaten. Not whisper. Yeah. 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 Um, so today we're making a vanilla celebration cake. And honestly, we have extremely low expectations for this shoot. We have a couple of goals, and that is just to make a cake, to maybe get some footage of it, and to not get in a fight while we do it. Um, that goes for me and Matt. That goes for me and Teddy. That goes for Teddy and Matt. Teddy and Mavis. Me and Mavis, Matt, Mavis. I think that's everyone.